Hi folks, I'm back again to share with you some of the card, the other cards that I've been creating in my spare time, which is not a lot. <laughs> but my best friend lives in Texas and she's got three of the best little kids in the world. And I always send um, the kids a bunch of goodies and I make her oldest daughter Valentine's for her kids at school. So this year I created, last year I did them all kind of the same, but this year I did these cute little Martha Stewart kit that I found at a yard sale. So just a little heart on a piece of paper and on the back it's stamped and I created all these cute little clothespin embellishments. So those are her little fancy cards. And those are in this cute little little envelope for her full of goodies. Um, her son is super cute and so what I did was I created him a pinwheel because you know boys are funny. But I made him a fun pinwheel. He will love this. And of course on a straw. And it's all rainbow and pretty. So I thought that was fun. And for little baby Zoe, of course I made her a card. But I also went ahead and created her a paper flower. So I thought she would just love that. And then Zoe, or, uh, Skylar's other cards are these really cute cards that I just got these dies. <clears throat> They're from Sizzix. And I'll show them to you. I got them on clearance at Craft Warehouse. And I got the fox one. And I also got the owl one. And so immediately I thought Valentine's. I also made some of these for the kids in um, Operation Valentine's. But I created these cute little clothespins to keep them closed because they open up like this. Are those not cute? And so I made her eight of each of these for the rest of her kids in her class. And I thought, you know, I'm going to share these because if you find this die, it cuts out... The entire image and then it gives you the die cuts to mat it and all the fun die cuts to do like the eyes which are cute and then the top pieces um, I mean and they're just super cute and so I did notice though that they don't stay closed very well so that's hence where I created the heart there um, and I thought that was just a great added touch plus it's Valentine's Day so who doesn't love that uh, the foxes are just as cute I did share this um, I did share them uh, on the Facebook group, but look at the cute little paperclip embellishments that I made. They're all different. And I used the Michaels um, Shaker Heart Stickers for the centers. And I did give them Jules uh, Rhinestone Eyes. I thought the foxes were just darling. And of course I double matted everything because I always like to overdo things. I didn't do it the way it shows in the picture. And I did goof, folks. So if you do get this die, be forewarned that this little piece right here actually gets matted in these little tabs and I covered them. I wasn't thinking, I didn't watch the tutorial that I found on YouTube very closely. My fault, but I will say, oh look, I even did little boy ones. Um, my fault, but you know what, that's okay. It was my first time ever making them. I do suggest you get them. They do have other animals too. I just didn't see them. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten them because I got each of these dies for $8 a set. And that is a really good deal, especially considering that I do Operation Valentine's. So I'm just going to have my girlfriend scan and cut these, and we can make them in, in bulk. Um, see how they have the little slats right there to slide the insert in? It's just so cute. So what a great die set. So that is for my best friend in Texas. I'm having a lot of fun making goodies for everybody. <laughs> Lots of goodies for everybody. So the next couple of cards I made were just some fun ones. I found a die at a yard sale, and that's the die. And I have no idea for the life of me who makes it. I can show you the die, but I have no idea who makes it. Um, it doesn't really say. It just has a number. But that was the die. And I got it at a yard sale for like a quarter. And I thought, oh, perfect shaker cards, right? So then I used some embossed paper here, and I, I cut out the word love from the striplet dies from Tim Holtz. And I got a new die set from Tuesday Mornings that is super cute, and I thought, ooh, what a fun idea. And the die cut had bright, shiny, and this cute little cross arrows through the heart. So I just lined the inside and did that. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. And I made two of those for my ladies, of course. This is for my best friend, Lucretia. And I don't know if you're going to see this very well in the video, but it is 100% fully 3D. I doubled the foam. I cut out the lawn fun stitched hearts. I made a banner. I did OXOXO on accident. <laughs> Should say XOXOXO, but you know what? It's okay. It can say kiss and hugs and kiss and hugs. I used the Michael or the Dollar Tree red rhinestone stickers throughout. And then this was that one die that was a full die from uh, Tuesday mornings that we all hauled a, a few months back. So I just loved how 3D that looked and how popped up. I mean, it's 
pretty thick and heavy duty. And then on the inside, I did Happy Valentine's Day with the Lawn Fawn stitch border dies. I hope Lucretia likes that. She'll probably watch this and see it, but oh well. Um, I also created, well, there's like a whole set of cards I am not seeing here somehow. Oh, well, oh, maybe it's right here. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Tuesday mornings there was a group of Anna Griffin cards you can get. They were sets. And so what I did was I actually created, I took bought some Mother's Day sets and I changed them. I changed them into Valentine's. So this was a Mother's Day set and it had green and things and then the center was like fully solid and this was just this little tiny thing. And so I fussy cut the flowers out and then I bordered it with gold again because it's gold foiled stamped to my love, added some of the green seam binding because there's green in the card, and then I added the key and the lock. And I just thought that that was a really pretty way to change the card to a Valentine card. And, you know, the envelope is lined. I mean, it's just a different kind of a Valentine card, and I thought it was really pretty. And then I also created this one the same way, but this one says to my Valentine. And I just thought that was gorgeous and just a great way. And then these little keys came from Tuesday mornings. From They were a Jolie sticker pack new to this week. So aren't those gorgeous? Um, I think I have two more cards. I just got to look. Somehow they're missing in action. Oh, here we go. So I made this one for my mom. I think I might have shown this one already, but it's in a special box. So it is that authentic paper. I lined a little bit of the blue into it because it's just so pretty. I used a sticker. Um, from the sticker sheet and then some red seam binding and a little bit of the blue seam binding just sticking out just because it needed some matching. These are the Michaels flowers that go to the vintage Valentine paper, but I just loved this so much I had to make my mom. She just wants roses and I thought my mom would just love that. And then I created two of these. This is my newest die this year. It is a memory box die and of course I used that stitched heart XOXO or X's heart die cut here and I did just make two of those and of course on the inside I just lined it as well just very plain and but very pretty well with that being said the concept of that my friend Ginger Rupp I asked her what her favorite Valentine's Day colors were and she told me they were pink and black so I went and I created her the card with the pink and the black now I'm going to tell you what happened here and, and it if you look closely it looks like stamped leather and maybe I'll turn on an extra light do you see that it looks like stamped leather. What I did here was I actually took black recollections paper, put it over that one sheet, the really thin foam black sheet, ran it through the die cut over and over and over so it smushed it down. So it is popped up. But for some strange reason, it and it's so sleek feeling, it looks like stamped leather when it cut out and it cut out perfect. So I couldn't have done any better with this. I, I felt like... I don't know, this one just screamed ginger to me. So this was ginger's Valentine card and I love that it's the pink and the black. And then on the inside, I did that. So I think she's gonna love it. I love it, I almost wanna make me one. But look, I mean, even that heart that I cut out, that's the center of these. And it just looks like, I don't know how to explain it. Sorry, I'm gonna hold up this little light. It just looks like leather. Can you see that very good or is that just not bright enough? I don't know. It's just super cool. So anyway, folks, I just want to share you some of the cards that I've been making on the side. I really like redoing these Anna Griffin cards because like I said, it's just the card base, the envelope, and then one die cut. And I just felt like it needed something more. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, it was just the perfect colors. And I just felt like, huh, I'm going to redo those. So thanks for coming again, folks, to see all these fun Valentine cards. I probably won't be posting any of my personal projects again until after Operation Valentine's, but I just wanted to come on and show just some of the fun things I'm doing after I see all the fun cards that, I, that you know, the kids are getting for inspiration. It just, I feel like I need to just make a card before I go to bed, you know? <laughs> all right, folks, thanks for coming and have a blessed day.